Well, thank you so much for staring at that blank screen and we already have 400 people tuning in. I have to say, pretty happy with those results. Yeah, how That means that we are beating people that have been on Twitch for seven years. And the ABC, Eat which has been here since Federation. <laughs> when, when was ABT instituted, do you know? Uh, well, uh, I don't know. That, that delay of my own voice uh, distracted <laughs> me from my extensive knowledge of the ABC's inception. Big <laughs> ego, hear your own voice and it's all over. Oh, my God. <laughs> Speaking of big egos, this guy thinks he's too good for cockroaches. <laughs> and rats. <laughs> now you've gone miss, too far. Miss, can you, can What's you the difference <laughs> genetically between you and a rat? Two percent? Three percent? Not that much. Mish, can you explain what this is about? Yeah, so this is just... Uh, part of the purchase that I just went and uh, got. Yeah, if you want to know why we were late in starting this pod, this yeah, is the reason. Actually, sorry. That, no, no, no. This is the reason. Because, <laughs> you know, there's more than like 10 minutes before the pod to do shopping. And well. who could have guessed that the guy that purchases Cole's crawling insecticide? Why, why don't you just get the how much more more teen cost? Well, I splashed down on two <laughs> more teens, and I thought, you know, two did, two out of three is not bad. Dude, I did not realize how cheap you are until today. Do you know how expensive this shit is? Not that. Like the fact that I asked you for a diet coke. Can you tell them what you did? I got you way more dying coke than you asked for. You are a mum, miss. So I asked Man, miss. This guy likes value. Miss particularly asked. <laughs> that wasn't value. That's that, just the value of not living with rats. Well, actually, priceless. this is the first little quiz of today. Careful, Speaking dude. of the ABC. Yeah, we're going to have our little phone-in quiz. How much does this Mortine Power Guard two litres cost? <laughs> well. In I the meantime, Ali, regale us with what happened when you asked for a Diet Coke. Yeah, so I asked him for a Diet Coke. He comes back with this massive bottle of Diet Coke, <laughs> which is hot. On one of the hottest days in Sydney... It's and he's like and I was like, dude, I asked for a diet coke. This is first of all huge and warm. He's like, I know the bu- the bubbles in it weren't even carbon dioxide. <laughs> it's just boiling. It's just boiling. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, well, it'll it'll get cold in no time. Just stick it in the fridge. Yeah, I am a mum. I, I, that, that's right. But was I, am I wrong about that? Well, I just don't have a diet coke. And by the time I Hang have on, it, I can it's make time you for one. me to leave. No, Do you no, want to no, make no. me one? Diet coke. I can make oh. you a Pepsi. From Soda Stream, yeah, Dang. homemade Pepsi, but that won't be cold. All right, let's do it on the let's do it in the break. All right, I got you, back you. Have you I had got you a liter well, of Coke in your own and grateful it's young hot. man? It's hot. It's gonna burn my mouth. Well, I'm trying to change it up. Ha- hot Coke. I'm bringing it in. You know. Oh wait, we've got like we've, sorry, we've got guesses of that Mortein. So Miss Love, who's close? The winner gets oh, uh, I nothing. Rem- wait, I gotta remember how much it was. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so do you have any idea how much it costs? Because I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember now. Okay, so Broken Hair says it's twenty eight ninety five. Canson Incarnate says it's thirty four ninety five. Should we do a poll? A poll, a poll of how much everyone. more tea? Oh wait, we can't do a poll, poll for of everyone. Do a poll <laughs> independently. Thirty nine ninety nine. It's called democracy, dickhead. <laughs> Forty dollars. Well, yeah, nothing. So they get to decide how much you pay. No, we want everyone's <laughs> choice. Uh, well, no, no, I think let's let's let the people decide. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> they decide. I mean, this is, so is we this have really just summed up what we've been trying to discuss on this pod for the last two years: the inherent flaw with democracy here and capitalism. <laughs> because in capitalism, it, the fucking thing comes with a price, but in our system, what's the price? That is the price. By the way, by the way, this is an advertisement for moving into the inner west because this is what I have to <laughs> fucking buy. I've moved into a fine home that's full of it's a, it's a zoo. It's just every it's rodent animal. Literally, I saw a rat. So there's but, but no, but like you're talking about the guys. Well, tell us more about Ian. <laughs> There's a. Uh, but he's like, you do need to clarify that. He's got a point. No, no, no. No <laughs> you clarification. You said rodents, and I was like, oh, his house might. <laughs> Sorry, Terrible. I don't know you guys. Uh, but no, like, uh, there's literally a fucking. There, there's like, this is just so indefinite. What's the word? Uh, indicative. Indicative, sorry. Yeah. And thank you. Indicative of the uh, some like inner west terrace house. There's just a uh, hole on the outside of my room. Um, 
I don't know where, I don't know what the holes, I don't, it, it shouldn't be there. I don't know where, why it's there. It, I don't know where it's leading. It's just a hole in a building. And I was, and I was standing Dude, out. I bet you, if you go into it, you'll find El Chapo <laughs> inside. Oh. El Chapo. Like, well, yeah, he's just hiding out there and be like, close the door, man. Uh, this is in Mexico. Oh, you want your rent? <laughs> oh, and it's like, wait, I'm paying the rent. Yeah, yeah, I'm the landlord, but like, uh, just put it through the hole, man. <laughs> Anyway, and I saw a <laughs> fucking giant rat in the daytime walk out. I was like, what? Confidently. Yeah. Confidently. <laughs> walk around. A in day the, as in well. Day. day. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then just, and then I wouldn't even call it scurry. Just leisurely walk back into his home, like 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 me, just like I would do. He's out. You're mate. more nervous. He's You're out. actually afraid yeah. of your housemates. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, and he's about to be there for a while. That dude, he's, that rat, that rat's grandpappy has come out of that hole. Dude, that rat, that rat is the landlord of that place. Yeah, dude. he must be. It was so done fucked. with the mortgage. It was I can't so believe that. Can so I. he just looked at you and was just like, hey, man. Yeah. Is there any milk? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Can you pick me up, son? Yes. <sighs> don't give me a lip, man. I've got the plague. I'll come at you. He was that casual, you know, like, don't, don't, don't give me shit. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving you shit. And then on the DL, I'm going to try to kill you, but I, I don't think this is even going to work. Miss, you know what will be like way more effective than this shit? What? A cat. You know what's crazy? Listen to this. This is the crazy thing. We have a cat, or like there's a cat been staying the with us recently. The rat ate the cat. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. But we have a cat. But this is the thing, right? The cat hangs out, you know, indoors. The cat's killed a few mice. Tuton, uh, what's the cat's name again? Uh, I forget. But Tuton, little ruddy girl. But the rat. Don't you reckon it's called Lily? No, it's not Lily. It's hey, that uh, was my Ruth. cat's name. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't actually remember. But. Uh, but the, the rat is too it's big. Lives has its the, the rat's room's bigger than mine, you know? So so the cat's not getting there. It's like in a different it's like not it doesn't go inside the house. There's a whole un, it's like it's like it's like uh it's you know, what's that movie uh Parasite? You know, there's the, the people oh, yeah, that live. Yeah, yeah. The rat has the downstairs. So he's room. that oh. fat Korean guy. <laughs> yes. He's the fat Korean guy. And like and like the cat wouldn't even know how to get there if it tried. And in all honesty, the cat would run. The <laughs> cat was that big. Miss Love, do you agree with Kibler? Yeah. He says, new fucked. <laughs> so you couldn't get a rat trap for it. It got to that stage, did it? It was basically the size of a midget. It's basically a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. <sighs> Miss, what do, you, do you agree with this? Kibler yeah. says, Newtown is one big seedy couch. I think that's very <laughs> apt. <laughs> I think that's... Extremely apt. I will give you that. Yeah, but uh, instead of coins being under the cushions, it's nangs. But yeah. obviously the nangs are used. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so right. there's no benefits to it. I mean... Hey, you know. look, people are offering you their pay. Someone is saying... Uh, not someone. Glackmate says, Miss, you can crash at mine. <laughs> Marilini says, Ah, oh, nope, I'd leave. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn, so, thank you, good Marilyn, call, thanks. Good call. Thanks. You know what? I, love the people yeah, that you, I think that's a pretty rational explanation. <laughs> You're not going to win this war. I try. I'm going to try. I've this loaded is Starship up. Troopers. <laughs> <at> this <point. laughs> You're, you are outgunned. <laughs> Just <laughs> die. <sighs> I can't believe it. I really look. Everything that I said is a joke about that house is fact. <laughs> I don't wanna, it's it's not a joke. I don't want to. And mean, we I, have footage of this. There was an entire pop where we were convincing you that if you go and live in that seedy couch, you can't come out. The cushions are too big. You'll never find your way out. <laughs> Look, I think it's not fair to throw the house under the uh, because, like, I the house. I think it is because, <laughs> as, as you said. A rat has a bigger room than you do. No, look. No. <laughs> I, 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 I can't. The hole. I, it's just a hole there. I can, gnawed out and nobody noticed. <laughs> just, just, <Listen. laughs> no one knows. Did you inner west rats also order Uber Eats? Is that well, thing? maybe that's what he was doing. Maybe he was, because he came out in the broad daylight. No worries. I've never seen anything like it. I was just like, I've seen those things walking around at night in like the sewers. You know, and like that. And, and even then they're just like, eh, and then I'm just like, Ugh, and they just run away. <laughs> but this one was like getting Uber Eats. <laughs> Maybe there's like a new pizza place called is like Rat Boys. You got like, is that why you got like three different ways to kill it? No, that's for a different type of rodent. 
Oh shit, there's different types of rodents yeah. there? No, 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 not rodent. That's for a pest. different type of pest. What, what, what's that? You wanna, f I think you know. Oh yeah. Go on, give um, it to I'm me. I'm well aware, having visited that house once. It's not just that. <laughs> bed bugs. No. Oh yeah, sorry, where are my manners? There's no bed bugs. Uh, this is true. This is actually what happens. It's an occupational health and safety hazard for him to live there. He is living in a mini Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> you know how there's just all these slabs with terrible health conditions? Me. And they just kind of like find it hard to breathe even. And that's Me. one of the mild ones. That's you now. Yeah. Because I, I remember that. You coming in here. And we, some days we can't even film. Yeah. Because he's snuffling so much. Yeah. And he sleeps here for one night. And then it's like, huh. There seems to be some kind of coincidence that every time I don't stay there, I don't have extreme no. emphysema. No, but that's <laughs> not true. That's, that's it is. And then all of a sudden it comes back. And you know, we all know this from the net, right? Correlation is a causation. But <laughs> you guys you've got to admit, there's a correlation. Yeah, you guys thought the China plague was bad. This guy deals with actual plague still. <laughs> Just, oh, dude, I did have... Look, I'm not going to say... That's not accurate. That's not accurate. But like, I am, I, I am going to say like... I, I was having these like nightmares. I'm like, is the rat gonna walk in my room and bite me? Because then I'll have the plague. Like I, that was a worry. Uh, but no, look, I. Th well, let no, me let me no like bed bugs. This is just for fucking the wonderful world of roaches. And I'm just. That is the sound that happens when you spray that stuff. <laughs> and I've, I've got to say, man, if you thought lynx smelled bad. Oh really? Yeah. Great. But oh, you know what is a really room. satisfying it's feeling? Going in my room. That's um, awesome as well. <laughs> Go on. And <laughs> every time you uh, you do spray this stuff, yeah, it is a very satisfying feeling. The day after, have you seen that, Ali? Have you woken what? up to after like spraying dead, this, yeah. and then Why? you and then there's just like this line, no, of dead roaches. No, it's great. It's 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 a nice feeling. It hey, really is. I thought you were a nature man. What what's wrong with oh, you? Oh, don't be one of these goddamn. Cockroaches are living beings. No, so I'm what they are. For the sure. unfortunate That's thing is, not, they basically there. aren't. I don't know if they are alive. I think they're yeah, just I the, don't know the Walking Dead. What's their purpose? They like, don't they, you think that a coral is more sentient than a roach? It have to be. I think so. What are you? What are you talking about? Roaches can like run and. Ch I'm. I'm not saying that corals aren't sentient, but I'm pretty sure roaches. Why? Are too why? <laughs> why did these all these things con congregate in the cities? What happened there? Because obviously a these lot of field. Yeah. They can survive it, that's why. They could survive. Yeah, but there's also like so much for them to feed on and stuff. It's like oh. that classic thing of Ugh. roaches will survive the nuclear holocaust. And is that accurate? They do anything. But the, the classic thing of like they can survive nuclear holocaust, but they cannot survive if you just turn them over. <laughs> they, they freak out and die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a metaphor. That's not my joke. It's that's actually, I can't remember whose joke it is, but it's, it's a funny it's one. It's a metaphor for a lot of people, but... Uh, Look, you know. there is an unfortunate thing about this, and you really should consult your housemates because I'm pretty sure that if you put that in your house, yeah. you will wake up the next day and there will be a couple of dead housemates along with the watchers. <laughs> I do really think that, and I'm sincere when I say that. I think they'll just come in and be like, hey, man, can I use some of your... Pretty woozy. I better just sniff this. It seems like free high. And you, you got some of that bush stuff or just oh, hydro? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm blacking out. This is pretty heavy. Oh, I'm dying. The final high. <laughs> I always knew I'd go out by more teens. Somehow I knew. Uh, look, that is a fucking funny thought. Just a human being in their background. Shit, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Do you want me to call a hospital? Is it going to cost anything? <laughs> I'm not. I, look, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. Look, I, I, I think. Look, there's a house connected to our house. It's one of those fucking old school, like, you know, convict houses. So it's like, the, I think the old house. So this roach owns two houses. <laughs> <laughs> He's bowling. He's living the Australian dream. What I'm saying is. Do you think the rat sees, it must, uh, it must see uh, you and your housemates as fellow housemates tenants. to eat. It must see, or yeah, not even just tenants, but. Well, pack I, members, <laughs> all pack members. Yeah, you know don't what? you think? I feel like, yes, only purely by the. The the, the 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 laxed nature of its strut. I, I really can't I really can't like stress this enough. I've never seen a rat this relaxed in the day. Like like coming out <laughs> and walking around. Like he made like a good ten meters. I was like, eh, what's happening? 
basically me. And, and it's like, <laughs> uh, nah, I'm, going, I'm too hungover. I'm going back inside. And just went back. And I was just like, couldn't believe it. But uh, <laughs> I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. Like this poor North Shore boy with all his privilege of not growing up with fucking things that will give you the plague. Mm. It's a big shock to me. And, yes, uh, <laughs> fair enough. And, um, fair. And, you know, I, 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 I shudder to think how many rats are in the inner west. More than people, I would assume. De- Definitely. That's not even... No one needs to count that. That's oh. just... That's so apparent. I'm not wearing thongs anymore in the inner west. I'm not doing that. Well, I'm glad that you're at least wearing thongs. I thought you'd be walking around barefoot. <laughs> I've done that And too. let's just... I have been. That your house does back onto a brothel. <laughs> that's... On the flip side, you do become Ant-Man if you walk barefoot in the inner west. <laughs> <laughs> but I shrink down. Dude, Miss Love, you're simultaneously in the comments being like propped up and put down. <laughs> no. Someone well, said, well, it's just how another is day Miss Love not, yeah. not living in Kirribilli with that OnlyFans money? And the only girl, boring girl says, I don't think he's making any money from that. <laughs> I, I don't know how uh, to get I, I, uh, The OnlyFans, I have to log back in. It's been too long. i got to log back in. I don't know how to access the money from OnlyFans, and I think it's how like, much money do you have in OnlyFans? I don't know. Uh, Christo didn't tell me how to do it, but I think I think we made a whopping like a hundred and sixty bucks. Oh, dude, that's that's good. That's not nothing. yeah, it's not bad. Mm, but that's half your rent <laughs> <laughs> sorted. Well, three days finally. for three. I would <laughs> just because you got your cock out. And you didn't even do that. I didn't even get it out. I have to keep uploading those photos. It's you do really need to get one out for that. I can guarantee yeah. you your money will double if but you But the photo of your ass boy. miraculously disappeared, and I think it was a rat boy. I think oh, he what, he kept it for his private collection, <laughs> oh, did he? No, I think he was... <laughs> Miss Love, there's a question. Dude, rat boy. It probably is Christo, let's be honest. <laughs> I was getting <laughs> a lot of that. You heard Mr. Bungle. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just kidding. Miss, there's a genuine question what? for you. <laughs> just yeah. getting more tea. But for him, yeah, it's just like there's red in my hair. Oh, Sorry, God. yeah. There's a genuine question for you, Miss Love. This is so good. Uh, so, Miss Love bats for both teams, right? Question mark. Wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? As in, I'm gay? As well, in, you're bisexual? bisexual. What, why? I don't know. No, that's I a don't question. know why there are. Why, why do you assume that that guy? It's not even bisexual. a question. It's like a genuine question. What's well, the I context suppose, of that? No, because he's from Newtown. I think that's why. I'm from Newtown. I love that Ali thinks that's just to crack up just because he's Pakistani. He's like, this guy just asked you're gay. Yeah. Well, what's the context? <laughs> Are you like, what? No, well, I no, 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 he's not asking if you're gay. I think, I think the crack up is, <laughs> are you me. bisexual purely because you live in the inner oh, west? Oh, I got you, I got you. And oh, I, uh, there's a much man. higher chance of that. I'm not from news. I love how it's just like, this is how like the, the fake news travels. It's like, <laughs> I, have, I, I, I moved to St. Peter's. It was a rat. I'm gay. That's just the way it goes. And also, like, <laughs> and also, and also, like, you're from Newtown. I'm not from Newtown. You're just as from Newtown as me. You went to school there. Yeah, but here's the uh, here's the distinction between you and I. I didn't live there, dude. Yeah, yeah. You live in <laughs> I, I got out and I was just like, this place smells like rotten eggs. I can't <laughs> wait to go home. And he pays one hundred sixty dollars for three live, days. You live in a to s- live with rodents. You live in a slightly less rat infested suburb. Let's not get on your high horse now, young man. No, that's definitely true. Yeah. Look, I, I can't argue that, <laughs> but I can just say true. this. I can just say this. Just like how there's slightly less roaches there. Brazilians are slightly <laughs> less annoying than hipsters. I'll pay that. Because some of them are at least hot. You do There's have that. Dude, he has a bunch of rats in his house too. They're just in his freezer. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, you're right. So you're so right. Ain't, I'm not even kidding. Dude, what no, a fuck world. Care to we, explain? What a fucked world you live in. Explain yourself. Yeah, what a world. What a world. Well, what's there to know? Why? Why do I have a bunch of rats? Yes. Because I have a snake that... Miss Love actually named just off a whim saying, what are you going to call it? Something stupid like Slithery Pete? Yeah. And then I said, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to call it. I gave him the name that Miss Love gave away as a throwaway, as a joke. And now that I've had it for like two or three years, I've got to say, dude, it's not worth the joke, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you just have to look after a pet that you never see that is, is yeah. more shy than the rat. The rat comes out and says hi more than the snake does. Dude, you know what I should have fucking done? Sensor the repeat in that hole. 
Dude, Slithery Pete would have been eaten by the rat. That rat Fuck. is too big and just would have been like, mm, spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> is that how it goes? Because you lost uh, your bigger snake. Yeah, I did. Dude, that's He's really probably surviving. Which was called John because it was an albino and uh, my uh, cousin, yeah, cousin is called John. He's from Uncle Jono's, if anybody remembers that. Shout it out in the comments Shout if you do. the hell out. Yeah, Number one fan right here, numero uno. Have you seen <laughs> The Adventures of Uncle Jono's? Is that Harley? a Gladys jokes? No. Uh, I'm just saying that. Sorry, yeah. Were you saying? Have I seen? Have you seen the Adventures of Uncle Jono's? No. Good. Worth it. Better than Huckleberry. I think it's worth it. Dude, I really think it's the it, best stuff I've ever. I think met. Friendly Judy's taken a severe dive in since, quality. In quality since that. Since you know, I don't know how how long ago was that? Like seven years ago. These people are interested in how their democracy is faring more <laughs> than my cousin pretending to be a pedophile. He's really weird, pale. <laughs> I was going. Hey, what are you up to today, <laughs> I don't know. What are you up to? Yeah, I hope you like that. I bet I do. And then his sister coming back. What are you doing in here? It's like, yeah, nothing, mate. What are you doing? I was like, high art at its finest. Uh, Wait, so that was their actual conversation. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. Riff raffing. Dude. It, no, but like, you know what was really good about old school friendly Jimmy's too? Um, I'm a big fan. And this might surprise you all of... Crap, crummy quality stuff. I think it's got the the, the the added bonus of being hilarious and cheap. You you consume what you are. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> like it's it, it, it does I'm emanate kidding, your I'm style kidding. of Who humor. Who are you, Mr. Holdsworth? Yeah, exactly. Get the fuck out of here. Finally. No, but it's like it, your your whole life is kind of centered around that Hello kind of beef. Uh, budget <laughs> lo-fi setting. Oh yeah, that's true. So I think that it does. Emanate from you particularly. But Having said that, I don't disagree with his uh, analysis of comedy. I do really yeah. think that it's a lot better when it's cheap. And Dude, uh, to this day, so I'm so angry that we ha we got 4K cameras. Yeah. I'm so pissed off that, about that. That wasn't your idea either. No, no, but I was I fighting like, hard for. I mean, I do <laughs> understand. <laughs> I Were you? Yeah, that was what that was the biggest riff throughout all of the controversies your, over the years. Yeah, all of the cancellations. <laughs> 4K. Was it was yeah, it was 4K. That was the big one. That was a big Kahuna. Fuck. Um, well, you know, at least you tried. Yeah, I fought the good fight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think that you are definitely onto something there. It was good. I mean, look, I understand the shift because it was kind of just like, do you want more more shoves? Maybe get a camera where people can see you because, you know, your face isn't that fucking pixelated. They can't make you out. Like, I get it. <laughs> but there is a certain level of, of charm lost when you go from Sesame Street to drive, you know? Mm. When you go to a camera that's like the red camera, you know? That's mm, just like, mm, mm. like, it's not, it's just not indicative for good comedy, I don't think. Uh, but that's the whole thing that people don't understand. If the camera quality is cheap, there's a joke straight off the bat. Exactly. For, and it's there all the time. But all like, the time. For you. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny. Wait, I can't barely see my face. Oh, that's funny. But that is funny, dude. <laughs> for some. That, for anyone that doesn't think that that's funny is, you know, is a big fan of Auntie Rethink Donna. comedy. <laughs> <laughs> like a massive Nah, fan. like, but those people would actually like it. That Auntie Donna fans would like crummy. Let's nah, be real. No, 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 no. no, no the no, Auntie no, Donna no, fans no, no. do not like crummy. Okay, fine. Fly, fly to the Concords. What about yeah, Fly to the Yeah, they would. Th yeah. They their fans would be like, "Used to be in 4K. Hey, I want it to look like Lord of the Rings." Yeah, yeah, true, true. They That's like high quality. Do you think? I yeah. don't think so. Well, a lot of a lot of uh, Flight of the Concords humor comes from cheapness. That's true too. Well, wait, are you saying that they would they uh, uh, Flight of the Concord fans would want high quality look, shit? What, 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 it's the opposite. They would like they would prefer. They'd like low fi Okay, fine. But I, I yeah, Amy I stand Schumer. by. Yes. Wait, wait, who, yes. Who, who are you going to be satisfied uh, with? Kevin Hart, Amy Schumer, yeah, like right. all those people. Dude, would can hate. you imagine how fucked someone would be if they were a true Amy Schumer fan? <laughs> I don't think there's any. Now, they're, they're what, not, a f uh, what a terrible human being. There's yeah. no. Don't you reckon? No. Some people that work at news.com would be fans. Well, they probably haven't seen her <laughs> later stand ups then. <laughs> the no, I reckon guy. they watch it and they're just like, finally, someone says it. This Being a female comedian is brave. <laughs> the security guard's a fan, maybe. What security guard? Of news.com. Remember we saw him? Oh, that was scary, wasn't it? That was funny. It looked like... Wait, what, what was this? We just went this bald-headed, like, 
Should you just cra- get crashed? No, we were just walking past there to buy it. You just look like the guy from the Hitman cover the game on PlayStation, except for Greek, I think. But yeah. But it was like more yeah. tanned. Yeah, yeah. He was like, good day, boys. Yeah. But I, re- I reckon if we... He, he, was, he was eyeing us off. Why the He thought hell? that we were there to cause mischief. Yeah, which we... And we were there to cause mischief, <laughs> but not to them. <laughs> That's Indirectly. a side note. Indirectly, yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck do news.com need a security guard? Why the fuck wouldn't, wouldn't they, they need, need a security, security guard, dude? What? One should not be enough. That just shows how bad their profits what are the these hell days. Are you when you're trying to destroy what? the world, there's seven billion people in it, and some of them might get pissed off. What, they're, they're Especially if your headquarters is in Surrey Hills. So what, they're really <laughs> weary of mums with handbags going there being like, that cranberry sauce recipe you said was tart. It was supposed to be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what they're worried about? <laughs> Um, I do really like the idea of that particular guard putting that chick into one of those sleeper grips, just being like, Sweet! Sweet! (laughs) And as she's going down, like, Oh, don't even worry about it. This is the most sleep I've had all week, darling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I don't have to get that mattress on Shop Oz. (laughs) 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 <laughs> it's like you're back in high school. <laughs> what? Uh, just like it makes me kind of happy and queasy inside. Oh, really? You guys are rip raffing and laughing. Laughing <laughs> about <laughs> specific <laughs> esoteric. That's, that's the humor we bond on. Like, bum. Ozzy's just been like, oh, just mark it. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That's where the humor co aligns. That's where we bonded. But it. you know what else as well? And, and this is the thing that Ali is almost on that train. Yeah. If ours is going to Strathfield, his is going to Ashfield. <laughs> his is... Uh, <clears throat> it's not so... Dude. It's not so much cheap as it is pov. <laughs> but that's because of Ali's upbringing. So he's just always just being like... Yeah. And then, dude, we were down in our four-wheel drives and we pushed the guy over off his bike. <laughs> I regret telling you that. you know what? That's Uh, stupid. Why? It is funny, dude. It is funny. It is really, really funny. Dude. (laughs) Hell yeah. All right. um, So, look, all our viewers, I'm now referring to our viewers. Do you guys have any last minute questions? Because then we'll move on to the main course. Hey, should I talk about it? Talk about? Should I talk about the pet barn update or no? Uh, Why not? If you want to do it, do it for the pre-show. Yeah, I'll do it for the pre-show. Yeah, yeah. Long story short, gang. Uh, AUWU Panthera Even though if this comes out It doesn't really matter But guess what <laughs> But just, just because Fuck you guys Pretty much yeah. Um, But yeah uh, that, that pet store Like Fucked chick With the mullet Probably that rat At Miss Love's house Just <laughs> sleeping on her head And she <laughs> and She We just found out From an anonymous source Got her ass fat Damn, Damn. Well Serves you right God Yeah man. I've just got to say Suck shit yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very makes, happy that that happened Because that could have gone really bad for Pet Barn Oh yeah, no s- Seriously, that's the whole thing It's just like it I, I'm, I'm so glad that it wasn't the other way around uh, There was an opportunity there for a moment that They were just doing like the investigation or whatever And they thought that the chick that helped me out Was going to get fired But then it kind of just came out No, they she actually saved something going massively yeah. viral that chick deserves a raise. Yeah. So good on you, Dale. I've just got to say that. That's really the reason that I am actually bringing this up. She's I'm never so glad say that this, she gets rewarded. So you know. well, yeah, well, you know, she could be one of the 400. Highly doubt it. She <laughs> is not a stoner from Melbourne with long hair that is just itching to ask uh, Miss Love very specific pedal questions. So <laughs> I <laughs> salute you. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's the long and the short of it. Uh, sh- sh- what we, about we the mad make? chick? Oh yeah, you just mentioned her. Mia. No, the mad like they they refer to. The yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, she she got promoted. That's sick. That's that's really cool. Justice does exist. Justice was Justice served. Justice is short. All right, so because I was mildly inconvenienced. <laughs> hey, do you want the price for this or not? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, what was it? The big question. <laughs> Sorry. Thirty three dollars something. Well, now I don't know if like um, if anyone got it right. Nah. I, well, look, if anyone got Miss that right. Here's the honesty policy. Did you get it? Now, don't lie. I you think someone was pretty close. I think, I think, a lot of I think somebody was like $32.95. Really it's close. But I will say this. 
purely because you think that's a lot of money. You don't belong in Newtown. You don't belong on the North Shore. You yeah. belong in Newcastle. <laughs> don't I know it? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really your home. And you know what? Newcastle is a nice melting pot of your life. Yeah, I like Because it's, it's kind of hipstery, mm. but it's also kind of upper class. Come on. And it's no, also no, kind of no, fuck. Ship, steel y- shipyards and shit, yeah. I yeah. don't know if they work anymore. They don't, they don't. But like is there any industry there other than meth now? Like, is Yeah, there alcohol. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. And let's not forget, homeless people kicking bins for some reason. <laughs> Hell yeah. Every time I go there, there's yeah. just one guy going, ah! Yeah, yeah, Because they couldn't find any cigarette butts in there. Oh, Mystery mm. solved with Arlie. Dude, did you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm glad this is for the pre-show, but did you know there was a period when uh, Dome King was like regularly doing that shit? No, looking for cigarette butts, searching through bins. You I've and seen not only even that, on the floor. Uh, not only that, I told him when I when I saw that because this was the time when like cigarettes weren't that expensive. Like they've always been kind of expensive. Yeah. But when I saw that, I was like, die. Like Dome King. <laughs> no, we are, but like yeah. this is pre-show. <laughs> And everyone yes. knows his name anyway. Dude, like, <laughs> Dome Kang, we just call him that now because it's a funny yeah, name. I think that, that. Dude, I think that even if he was watching this live, he'd just be like, hey, they just said you don't be like, huh? Like your name. Be like, are you watching this? Are you watching the TV? Huh? The TV? What TV? Like he'd be watching a TV. Like I don't think it'd be an issue. And also, <laughs> and also not but knowing tr- the guy at all. I don't think that that, I don't think that, that guy can, it can be triggered even if I don't think that's possible no but no, that's what I'm saying so he either. wears that as a badge of honor this was the weird thing about Dome King this was a time when he wasn't even that poor he had a job but he still did it and I told him not to do it and I was like I will no, buy you so some <sighs> and he said Very nice dude you. you guys are crazy like this is just a way to smoke like it's free Oh, he, he, no, he was freeting was yeah he, he, he compared he did it by choice he was that, like you can either thing? go freeting's a thing what's that mean uh, look you should tell your housemates about it because they will adopt the lifestyle. <laughs> but it's just going into bins at Coles and going, what? Uh, this milk is only expired by three days. You fat cats <laughs> forgot your planks. It's just sour cream now. Yeah, oh, dumpster diving. That's, that's real that's Tiger f- King stuff. <laughs> dumpster is it? diving's yeah, rough. Yeah, that's, that's, how he saw, that's how he fed his tigers. Really? Oh, well, that's, a, that's, that's an honest way of feeding tigers. Dude, I reckon too. I, <laughs> sorry, I feel like uh, watching oh, So everyone was sitting there being like, oh my God, that's so cruel. It's yeah. not No, but then, but then, but then nah. you know what he started doing? He opened up a little restaurant and he started serving pizzas with that meat as well. Uh no. <laughs> Dude, I still, well, it serves you right. I still say fair call. I yeah, mean, me too as well. If just no because, one noticed. Just you know, because it's cheese, it's going to Let's expire. be honest, Pizza Hut definitely does yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. How do you make pizzas pizza? that are five bucks? Yeah. Yeah. You can't, you can't, that's a fucking very apt question. A large pizza with lots of meat on it for five bucks. What? I think your, Pizza Hut is expired now. Just that like brand. Well, the meat's expired. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think both of those things are correct. But I will say this. I think $5 is the absolute minimum that they could charge. And I think they were doing us a service because uh, right. Eagle Boys yeah. introduced the $3 pizza. Why? And I what? just remember looking at that $3. and thinking, it's too cheap. <laughs> nah, I can't do no it. No one's buying I, that. I'm in uni. I, I don't <laughs> have $3. I'm not getting it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, even if I have three. How I'm still not getting that pizza, dude. Is you, that, get, look, you can like fucked. buy yourself by like pitching it too low. Yeah. That's the right, whole thing. The, the pitch was too low. Three Four dollars is too low. Yeah. Something about five that five is like, seems like five a, is you're, you're, you're sus. Yeah. yeah. But it's too much of a bargain to put yeah. down. It's a perfect price. Yeah. For, uh, sus is shameful, but you're kind of like, well, I'm a, I'm a shameful person sometimes. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get a break, uh, take a break and then come back for the main pod. But like before we go, Jimmy... Jamie. There's a request for what you. What are you going to say? In 30 Jimmy? seconds. What's your question? Talk about skincare in 30 seconds. Rice masks. What you do is you boil rice, you wait until it's mush, and then you just put a teaspoon of honey oh, in it, and nice. you put that on your face for the rest of your life. And look, I have the hair of a 30 year old, but the face of a 15 year old. <laughs> and that isn't scary at all. I'd say <laughs> 19, 19 <laughs> year old. But well, that's very offensive. <laughs> I know. Anyways, we'll see you guys <laughs> after the break. Oh, what a banger. Welcome to the Friendly Geordies podcast. Ali, put this on me for a second. I have to thank the guy that came to my show and saw the best show, I think, as well. So that was great. At least I could give something back to a man that paid, let's be honest, way too much money. <laughs> Or what was essentially a test show. 
That is not but true. First of all, that's not true. Can I say it? It was it was not a test show for one. Were you there? No, well, it, it was. There? I okay. Was okay. If if you haven't performed an hour long show for a year, oh. it's gonna be a bit. Okay, bumpy. You gotta give right, it right, back. Fair enough. Fair enough. That, yeah. And also, but like, but man, you are wrong. The feedback that I got from someone listening, actually, her name's. I'll give her a shout out. Her name was um, Artonis. She said that it was, yeah, th- like really, really good. One of the greatest shows she's ever seen. I specifically asked he's her because, like, but he's way too harsh oh, himself. He'll do he'll do a show, and then like it'll be a perfect show, and a fly will go like zzz, one second like through the mic, and he's like, oh, it's so it was a Ruined. shitty show. And it's like, why? It's you like, know, did you hear the fly? Ah! <laughs> you are like that. And you know what? Look, I I can't. Argue that yeah. you actually that's that's pretty much but when you were th- saying that, like it actually was annoying me thinking about that fly just being like, I was going great until then, <laughs> see? So, yeah, but all that means is that you <laughs> hold yourself to a very high standard. That's, like, that's, cool. like, that's like the antithesis of like you know, kiss hiring uh, um, civilians to wear their makeup and pretend to be Kiss in multiple shows in the 70s. So Kiss at some nights in the 70s were playing five shows at the same time across the United States. It's like the opposite of that, you know? That's true. But having said that, I would do that. But I think <laughs> that the only person that I could use as my stunt double is maybe Carl Stefanovic. That's yeah. fucking funny with hey, that dude, he'll do it. Hey, what's your this media boy? Yeah, here we come come on. On. Marcus Paul. Yeah, all right, but give me, give me 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 20. went and stole the show, actually, and then he wrote a very nice letter Oh, afterwards. really? He wrote a letter? Well, a text. Yeah, Dude, the you know modern what? version of a letter. <laughs> you've you've like you've given <laughs> that man direction. Thank you. Like, <laughs> finally, <laughs> someone explains it. Well, uh, I was it was so many questions. Why the letter? <laughs> Why did you expect a letter? Do you still have the letter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's what so did it cool. say? Yeah. Hmm? You can't tell. What? What did the letter say? No, it was just like had a blast, Jordy. Great show. Really appreciated the tickets, mate. My girlfriend liked it as well. And Marcus, may I say? I like your girlfriend. Yeah, and I seen photos. Hey, that was, in that. <laughs> well, that was unnecessarily creepy, Jordan. It was, it, was, it, was, it was unnecessarily creepy. I didn't have to put that voice on. Didn't have to ask you to put the camera me so I could step it down the barrel. There was a lot of things that didn't need to happen yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that happened. Well, we're less. happy that he has a beautiful wife. And he's a lucky man. But but I think that his, his wife is younger than me. Yeah, right. Dude, like, come on. As if prawn would get someone yes, older. No, well, I didn't uh, yeah, know. No, well, he's not going to get someone older than him. Maybe he's not going to be age? dating John Laws's ex, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> I know you'd be up for that. Gilfs. Gilfs. But. Actually, g- gilfs are better. G- in my, g- you know what? John Laws' ex could be a g- gilf. G- g- I don't <laughs> want to know what that means. Uh, well, well, you're missionary. Uh, <laughs> but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go on to this then. Yeah, yeah. Because we have. Truly, for the first time, an actual Bible. Hey, instead oh, of a joke hey. Bible. Well, oh. we, we could go back and we will okay. be reading from the man plan. Sorry that we have deviated from for like two the years. first testament. Yeah. But. No, that was the second testament. The first testament is Koshi's Bible. Uh, well, what's this then? Is this just hymns? What yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, do you know what that is? It looks like a hymn book. That's Islam. <laughs> That's. <laughs> uh, uh, dude, how dogmatic is it? This guy gave you this book. What a king. That's amazing. Is this the greatest title you've ever seen in your life? Communism is treason by Jack T. Lay. That's amazing. I don't like it. Are you yeah, cunts? Of course you don't. <laughs> that's that's but amazing. But actually, let's read a little bit of it. I'm yeah, yeah, actually, can you read a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I'll read the, the, the passage that I'm is, just up to because it's, it's, it's very pamphlet. quick. But it's you know what's pamphlet. mad about it as well? Because he keeps writing this in all of his books, which I completely forgot about, is that some politicians have principles. And he... <laughs> So what, what a Studio 10 point. Mm, yeah. They don't really care, do they? Anyway, after this, we'll be selling as best of cigarettes, but... <laughs> <laughs> but a best of cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. And I'll be dining with Malcolm Turnbull. I don't vote for him, but the scallopini is good. But I don't... I don't that doesn't mean I'm necessarily associated <laughs> with him. Mm. Um, but, yeah. It, you know, You know, like... He just keeps reinforcing the first chapter of it is just him saying, all the propaganda around me trying to get me out of the sheet of shoes was that they were saying in federal labor that I was past my prime, that I was only in it for a sh- sort of feigned glory for being kicked out as premier. I'd been through the political meal. I'd done my time. I went in because I believe that communism 
Savage treason. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, I, I don't know if this is the point where he started this party or not because then he had Lang Labor after and then how good is this? The next one, the next incarnation after Lang Labor was non-communist Labor. <laughs> Dude, genius. Dude, he's the OG <laughs> member of the Common Sense Brigade. He is, dude. Yeah. And he is all common sense. Damn. We were talking about this off air as well. We were saying, it's what so is cool. this man's ideology? I'll tell you what, it's just summed up in his badge. Lang is right. That's his <laughs> ideology. Yeah. Dude, like, okay. He's just correct about a, everything, and he is. Communism okay. is treason. I've got, a, I've, got a, like, I've got a question, and this might trigger you a little bit, but like, just hear me out. Dude, like, the more I... Okay, look, Lang is a cool character and everything. But the more like I read about him and look at like his fucking book titles, he seems a little fascist to me. Like, like he's kind of following the Hitler playbook. Yeah, I mean, what was your giveaway? The moustache? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, well, he was a cult of personality figure. He, he definitely was the closest to a fascist leader that we've ever had. But here's my counter argument. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Damn. Like, yeah. dude, he got results. AW, you know, that's, that's Panthera, what you really Panthera, Panthera. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you do, like, I, I truly think that that is the way that you perturb the cancer that is democracy. You really have to. You really have to have some really strong figure like that guy that just every single photo of him ever is just being like, oh, there's your camera in front of me, is it? You better be good. I mean, what his policies were were pretty boss, right? Yeah, very boss. His, no, they I were like amazing. And I, I read this uh, Communist Party critique of him. It was so wimpy. It was just, you know, what you read listening to this again, like going through it. Mm. It's the same argument. It's just different people. But it, it, the people that he actually hated, the the Communist Party. It's just the AUWU and the Greens now. It's just these annoying cunts that don't do anything actually but have they like were better purpose. because they were not funded by Panthera Panthera Panthera, Panthera. Panthera. <laughs> but you know who they were <laughs> funded cool, by cool. you know who they were funded by Stalin Stalin <laughs> Stalin they and really were I don't see a problem with that one yeah <laughs> okay see this is but this is the thing that like will piss us off and really like you dude he just like mouths off about Tito in this book really really yeah he just starts going off at him well read read, read a passage yeah I'll, I'll read a passage but i'll just say this bit um that won't piss me off <laughs> no he was mouthing off about tito and i was like well i don't know maybe jack lang isn't better than lennon you know right, like i was right, thinking right. that and then he just says but the communists were just singing his praises and then a uh, message just came down from the intern at uh at the soviet union and they just changed their tact entirely and said tito's worse than capitalists or whatever and then overnight, the communists just disavowed him, ripped all their posters down, started burning them on the streets. He was saying that really they had no ideology at all. It was it was purely just they were into another cult of personality. It was another right. fashion to them. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll read like just like a sentence from. I'll just read one paragraph. <laughs> Isn't it? What other Twitch channel on earth is doing <laughs> this? Yeah, and also like... <laughs> Actually, you know what, dude? In today's day and age, you change and the, the next channel is this. Yeah, and coming up, coming up after we read from Jack Lang mouthing off about political parties that have been inactive for decades, uh, we'll be going into Vagina Island <laughs> in the meantime. <laughs> and again, who else is doing that? <laughs> Dude, no one's reading this in Australia and no one is reading this, which is, uh, you know, if that's the Quran, what the hell is this? I hope James Curley's watching this. <laughs> he's not. He's not. I think he's deep in, in, in a bag of coke right now. Uh, shout out, though. It's so good. He's just he constantly... This is all it is. It's just replace the word communist with greens. It's just like uh, any Labour politician <laughs> today just being like, and you know what else he's can't do? Like, it's just that. It's amazing. <laughs> In working amongst the teachers, the communists gloss over their revolutionary objective. They concentrate on social reform rather than on the revolutionary platform of Marxist philosophy. In its early years, the Teachers' Federation was regarded by the other trade unions as a reactionary organisation. It was mostly controlled by headmasters and headmistresses. Before the Depression, communism was practically non-existent in the ranks of the teaching service. Salary reductions and a big drop in basic wage caused some of the lower-paid teachers to become bitter. Unlike other sections, they did not actually suffer unemployment, but they did find their standard of living, living to be under, undermined. In their frustration and disappointment, some of them were the easy targets for communist propaganda. 
As there was a non-Labour government in office, many of them took assumed names inside the Communist Party. At this stage, they were prepared to risk their careers, and the Communist bosses were quite satisfied to give them undercover status. The Communist shell was established inside the Federation. It was linked into the militant minority movements as the Communist Industrial Wing was then called WM, of the Minist Federation as National Secretary. The teacher shell was immediately affiliated with the Union in the Communist International uh, Constellation System then operating. Dude, it's mad. It's like it's it's just a little piece of history that you never knew anything about in Australian history. And he's just constantly talking about how th- that same theory that you're talking about with uh, how Lenin used to constantly teach about infiltration of institutions. Mm. Well, they did th- that. That, that, that. This is just the blueprint. Communism is treason is just that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, good. all oh. of this stuff is not wrong. The only, like, disagreement I have, well, I don't think there's treason. But he's not wrong, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, I think Ali's enjoying this. Like, Ali's just... No, it's like, good. And and, I, and I'm and i aware of the fact, like, he's, he's, he's not wrong about it. Dude, like, the Labour Party was infiltrated by, like, legit communists that were not just communists. They were, like, taking up... They were taking straight instructions from Soviet Union. Which, Dang. like, in today's yes. world, if you think about it, that's fucked. Like, you were subservient insane, to a foreign government. But and you know what else he was different. saying as well? And this is another piece of history that you don't learn because the big pin-up boy of the Labour Party is John Curtin. And rightfully so, because he defended us in World War II. Mm. But, obviously, because it's Jack Lang and everybody in the Labour Party hated Jack Lang. He hated John Curtin. And he was just saying that John Curtin uh, and the rest of the Labour Party well. wasn't taking it seriously. And that's why he had to become a member of parliament, pretty much to just purge the Labour Party. So when there's this constant thing, that a lot of people were saying this in the comments, that Jack Lang split the vote of the Labour Party. Mm. Um, that's true, but he also saved the Labour Party from itself because of exactly what was happening, what you were talking about. Like that communist right actually did exist. I just thought it was all pure propaganda to get uh, Americans to accept invading Vietnam for no reason. Well, yeah. But, but, like, but just, just as like a side note, I, I did say like it's crazy that they were taking instructions from Soviet Union, and I do stand by that. But then the other side was taking instructions from the CIA and the US. So like, that wasn't happening at that time. Okay, that, maybe, was yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. that was after the seventies. That was like maybe. after Whitlam, because they just they, before that the CIA didn't even think about infiltrating the Labor Party because they just thought they're never going to get elected. Well, yeah. they just were out for thirty years, yeah. or Until so they like, didn't even take it seriously. The whole U.S. empire is like serious because there was a time when the U.S. was always staying away okay. from internal politics. After the Second World War, when they emerged as like this victor and they just had like this power rush, that's when they started actually interfering and in stuff. Mm. Before that, like. America was like things like like the Indian independence. They call a decolonization of India. Had it not been for the U.S., it probably would have happened in like late fifties or sixties. It was just the U.S. saying like stop colonization, stop colonization. Uh, Woodrow Wilson had these like <laughs> really famous fourteen points of like how uh, foreign interference is bad. After the Second World War, that was when the empire was like, all right. Now we start doing this stuff ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> they were really, uh, what are those, isolationists before. Mm. But that was the thing, I think, because th- this is what is really unique about the Australian Labor Party, and it's something that Jack Lang keeps pointing out. First of all, it's the only party that is truly pro-Australian. Mm. <laughs> really, actually, like... <laughs> that's, a, that's a big call, come on. Well, like one seven, nation What about, well. what about let's, the let's Australian Sex Party? party. <laughs> that's truly... What about the parking meter party? <laughs> Parking meter party as well. I'm not paying the sex party. <laughs> hey, I, j- I pay sex party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. of course. Yeah. Fuck. I do not. But that's okay. Hey, dude, can we, while we're on this topic, unless you want to speak more about it, I have this little package. I don't know if you call them packages. This is what they call them in Pakistan. Every time package like, is usually just a yeah. euphemism for drugs. drugs. And I was scared. Oh, yeah, 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 drugs, no, yeah. no, no, no. Package, that's what they say in Pakistan. Like, you know, they've got like a pre-recorded uh, video that they want to play live. They say, all right, bring out the package. What the fuck? It's, it's, just, it's, it's not. I've heard it before. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just they use it more. So what I is this on Masala News? <laughs> <laughs> it's on every news. <laughs> Ticket yeah. Masala News. But the, dude, can we just can we like yeah, rename you, you, this part to ahead. Masala News? I would love that, but you know what Masala News means? I'm gonna guess it means like very happy news day. 
You're too Croatian to answer this <laughs> sentence. Look, I, I bet you that's actually a channel there as well. It's probably the highest rated news program in Croatia. <laughs> Happy News Day. Instead of ads, we just cut to a picture of an apple for 10 minutes. <laughs> it's Apple Day, International Apple Day. Uh, no, but what is it? No, Masala is News is their version of Fox News. We were watching oh. it. It's just all, Wait, there's what? All these no, Masala News isn't a channel. No, 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 no. But it's this... It's like a type of news. It's yeah. the type of news. It's, right. the, it's the, you know, like... Sexy action, five o'clock news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death count. Sean that Hannity kind of stuff. His name's like... Their Abdul version of Sean Hannity. Hannity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it just comes yeah. from like spicy, you know, like mm. uh, they just like add a little bit of spice to it. If the news story is too boring, we'll add a bit of masala into it. You know, How sick is that, that that is a phrase in Pakistan? That was oh. right up there with the hand shouldn't stop. That was <laughs> that was an amazing... That hand <laughs> shouldn't stop. Dude, uh, imperial like English empire, the English empire... Lives on in Pakistan, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That's the kind of shit that the yes, English would does. have said back in the day, like the Hun shouldn't stop. And now it's like uncouth, but it's so funny that people in Pakistan are just like the Hun shouldn't stop. It's so good. And keep them nuns coming. All right, check this out. All right, <laughs> check out this little package, and I want to get your reaction to it, Jordan. And I also want to get like the audience's like thing on it. We just supposed to be silent now? Is this just like uh, now, when Channel Ten goes to something to fuck up? Not only no, to fight worry. severe virus, yeah. Yeah, but go. to shape the system. We have a unique but rapidly shrinking window of opportunity to learn lessons and reset ourselves on a more sustainable path. It is an opportunity we have never had, never before, had before and may and never, have, never again. have again. So we must use we must all use the levers we have at our disposal, 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 knowing that each and every each one of us has a vital has role to play. To play. Now, now is the is time, time to think, to think what, what history, history would say about, about the about <laughs> crisis. crisis. And now She's is the my time grandma for all this of us, us <laughs> to define <laughs> our own, own role. role. What, what is, is it that would that make would it make so it that, that history, history would look, would look at, at this crisis, crisis as, the as the great, great opportunity, opportunity for, reset. for reset? The Great Reset, the great reset is, a is a welcome recognition, recognition that this human tragedy must be a wake-up call. It is imperative that we reimagine, rebuild, redesign, reinvigorate and rebalance our world. Rebalancing, rebalancing investment, investment harnessing, harnessing science, science and, technology, and technology, and advancing, and advancing the, transition the transition to net zero, to net zero emissions, emissions, all elements, all of, all the elements of the Great Reset, reset are, fundamental are fundamental to building the future, future we need. The recovery has to be greener than any of the any previous, of the previous recoveries. recoveries. And in and order to in order do to that, do we that, need to we ensure, ensure that the that stimulus package, package including fiscal and monetary, monetary, are much greener uh, than, uh, than, than they were before. They were before. So we so cannot we waste cannot this opportunity, this opportunity um, um, to ensure that, uh, that uh, the uh, very yeah, precious very money, money that's money raised, that's raised from, from the next generation, generation is spent on green and, green and low carbon. And carbon. Thank God this boy is leading the country. Actually, these values that have provided, provided the platform, the platform for, the for the greatest period of peace, of peace and prosperity, and prosperity the world has, the world has ever, ever known. And a boy's God. has underpinned the very the global, global institutions, institutions that has helped that sustain, it. sustain it. It is these values, values, values that must that now must drive, drive our, economic our economic recovery, recovery, recovery out of the pandemic, out of the pandemic recession. recession. These same values, values are also, are also the best way, the best way, way to pursue, pursue, pursue greater, greater, greater economic, economic inclusion, inclusion and poverty, and poverty alleviation, alleviation, alleviation as a result. As a result. Empowerment, Empowerment of women, women environmental, environmental sustainability, 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 climate, climate resilience, resilience, as well as, as, well as continuing, continuing to combat, to combat transnational, transnational crime, crime, crime and extremism, and extremism and terrorism, and terrorism in all its form. We don't need, we don't to, need to reset our economic agenda. We just need to get on with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, just when you thought you didn't get enough of a dose of common sense from Scott Ben, Hello Paul Murray sums it up. I uh, I have heard there is quite an extensive conspiracy theory around the uh, the Great Reset, but I only t- I only glanced at some of that, so I can't remember what they were. Is this one of your famous nights of you should have been going to bed at twelve, but you stayed up until three listening to Alex Jones? Yeah, it wasn't actually Alex, Alex Jones. It was something else, but there was some, they were talking about how it was like it was basically yeah, it was basically just sort of like 
it's just an, another form. They want to abolish physical currency and automate everything, and they want to kill you all through vaccinations. And such serious propaganda. <sighs> it's got nothing to do with that. But yeah, like, I that's the thing. It's the it. fucking mining companies that that fear it. That's why they like start. Why do you think Sky News is reporting so on what this? Is They're it? shit scared. Because so like what is it invo- now, what there's it no involve? Trump. There's what Biden. What does it involve? The well, great. It reset. basically just involves like further. It's just another word for Green New Deal. Yeah, oh, cool. it's just another word for. So Green it's not. New it's not deal. particularly political. It's just like let's lower. Out greenhouse emissions. You know what you realize about politics, which is really <laughs> just so nutty. Hello. Don't you think that politics is just this? Mm. Just kind of like waffle, 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 waffle. Oh fuck, crisis! Pump bunch, fuck loads of money in. Uh, okay, there's like a huge growth part after that. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Fuck another crisis, yeah. more money. That's what happens uh, every dude, ten that, years. That's ten all, years. Yeah, yeah, but roughly, really, there's there's really not that much. Uh, there's not much more to it <laughs> other than yeah. that, is yeah. there? But like, like the, the the fact that like Scott Morrison, if you look at like the world now, you've got a Biden who's for the Great Reset because it's not like particularly radical. Is, he, is he for it? He's for it. In fact, he um, so his his, his, sure his new um, Treasury Secretary has advocated for. It. Dude, these guys that are talking about it, well, you know they're what? Not, they're not like paying his secretary. communists. They're like straight oh, up yeah, establishment Charles, capitalist. Fuck. Yeah, so hey, the UN. They're the UN. Yeah, there's UN, there's like, but all these people are like straight up. Are you going to address the point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware that like one of the guys was from the UN. In the era. I'm just, just continue but like <laughs> Scott Morrison, someone like Boris Johnson, who was known to be a right, he was supposed to be the Trump of the UK. Mm. Dude, way more reasonable than Scott Morrison. Yeah. In, in terms of everything. It's interesting. Boris Johnson, sorry, I'm like for all those uh, UK viewers, it turned out he's actually not that bad. What? Um, Boris Johnson. He's been handling COVID no, as best as he can, like really in the situation that he's in. Oh, I don't know anything about how he's handling COVID, but I would imagine that globally the UK is usually a fairly good player um, when it comes to international agreements and whatnot. It's not really in their interest for it. It's, they are actually kind of set up to be a really good international player because... Pretty much what keeps them afloat is financial institutions. Financial institutions. Mm. And you know what the other thing that they're And doing? so they don't really give a shit what they're investing in as long as there's a profit return. Well, they're fucking investing way more than any other Western country in China as well. Yeah. The UK. Is. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah. And in fact, like they've been given a serious shut up call by the US uh. under Trump. Like you guys need to... Because they were the... You know, like when we were told, uh, don't give your 5G network to Huawei. And we were like, all right, all right. Uh, anything else? Do you want my ass to... But the UK was like actually resisting. Like, what the fuck do you mean, man? It's like a really good deal for us. It fixes our entire 5G network. It's the most, it's the cheapest alternative. Like, are you gonna get T-Mobile to give us the same rates? And basically they had a bunch of negotiations. So Britain and Germany, Germany is all, like the only two countries that were kind of resisting the, uh, the US on this. Um, and B- Boris Johnson is in many regards, even his like, um, his COVID strategy, he, he, look, think about the fact that he is from, supposed to be from like the extreme right. That's what he was pitched to us as. Um, his COVID like uh, uh, program of uh, subsidies and uh, providing, w- what's that furlough? What they call furlough, uh, like basically their version of JobKeeper. Mm. Pretty decent. He could have gone the other way. He would have, he, he had the mandate to be like, no, I came here on like a fiscal responsible budget uh, I'm just gonna like keep shitting on Muslims. Doesn't do any of that shit anymore. He's like, he's what we expected mm. Trump to be before he got in. We were like, nah, he's saying all this shit, but once he comes in, he's gonna be all right. Boris Johnson was actually that. He came in and he's kind of all right. He pulled through the Brexit deal, and the Brexit deal wasn't is the not Brexit crazy. deal. Just exactly what? Uh, what's her name? Theresa Margaret May, Thatcher much. too. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but the fact hey, that he got dancer. it through is uh, she couldn't get it through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was amazing, actually, wasn't it? I like that. Sorry, uh, she he got it through. She couldn't get it Look through. Look at her go. But anyways, I'm not saying like Boris Johnson is the best. No, but I think that was just because it was just so much thought. pressure from the EU that I was just saying just sign something. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it, well, whoever was there would have signed that. It could have taken even longer. Well, there's still negotiations happening. It's actually a really basic agreement that's been that's happened. But w- my in the question I'm putting this up is: What do you think about the fact that like Scott Morrison is currently the only leader 
in like a significant country that is still opposing climate change. And he's like, like that's an embarrassment, at least to me. I don't, well, should no, be It actually makes everyone. me feel pretty good. What? What are because you talking about? Let's be honest. The rest of the world could march on without us. Yeah. Uh, that is true. Murdoch's go-to talking point is technically true, that it's like, it's just 1% of emissions. Who gives a shit? I think the thing is that, like, <laughs> the, the, the counter-argument to it is that, that you're exporting coal mm. and that in- contributes much more. I can't remember what it is, but you're talking percentiles more from that. But if all the other countries aren't buying coal anymore and we're just using coal amongst ourselves, I suppose all that happens is he gets cold-shouldered at UN meetings. <laughs> and so it's, like, not that bad news for the rest of the global environment. I mean, I mean, it's bad for us, but the reason that it's bad for us is just economic. It's just that we had a better opportunity than anyone else on the planet. You, you know, actually, I was listening to the heads of the UN talking about this before, and they were just like, of course we you just are. don't understand when it comes to Australia. As in, this is a country that was blessed with the power source of the 20th century, just way more than it could ever consume. And now that it has the opportunity to be the sub- energy supplier of not just itself, but the world, it, it could be the Saudi Arabia of the future because of how much renewable resources there are in this country. I do like Ferraris. Keep going. Yeah. Don't you think? (laughs) Don't you think? Where's my my gown? Well, think about it this way, Miss. There is 500 times more renewable potential fuel in this country Mm. than the domestic population can consume. There's no country on earth that can boast those kind of numbers. And then what do you get? If If you're supplying all of South Korea... What is that? Two out of the 500? Oh, so no, our supplies are dwindling. Can I ask you a question just on solar, that? Just from solar and wind? Solar, wind, wave, hydro. Geothermal too. Didn't we like, didn't Australia invent that like uh, beach electricity thing? Mm. Really? That was pretty, but I've got like a really, and this will really expose my gaps in knowledge. <laughs> so it's bear with me. How the fuck do you export renewable energy? Cause like, how do you, like, you know, you well, this oil, is the whole thing. If you, I These are the manoeuvres that you need to go into. Ross Gunner has got a really good book about it, but he's just saying what you have to do is hydro technology, as in like hydro batteries, uh-huh. hydrogen batteries, um, or like hydrogen storage units, I suppose is a better way. You know what it's kind of like? You know those gas pods that they had in Monsters, Inc.? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd just be transporting it around in that. But the technology isn't quite there. Like, it, it exists, but you can't put it on a commercial scale. And he was just making the point that if you put that investment in, if you put that investment into hydrogen and, and transporting it, instantly, just off that, all of the industrial and manufacturing jobs that went to Asia, they're back in Australia. They're coming back. Shoot, can you even... Really? Yes. And then if Pots. you are doing that and if you are manufacturing steel here because it just becomes cheaper because of like transport and mm. now energy costs are basically zero. So the only uh, cost is labour, which was the only reason that it went over there. But energy and transport costs are more in those countries. Mm. There's right? another issue. That's also called labour. What? Party. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ruin everything. Sorry, sorry. That was like unnecessarily. No, but it's true. Red. And someone had to raise you. As long as they're not red. But that's like. Uh, but like, if that comes back, this is the insane thing. This is the other thing that was the potential of it, right? If Labor stayed in, because they were just following Ross Garneau's recommendations. I'm sick of this shit of them always just saying that Labor's not uh, environmentally good enough because the Greens are offering more. Well, yeah, that's great because I can offer more than the Greens. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I can just say, well, let's have 100% renewable energy tomorrow. Yeah, that's my policy. And I've got, ju- and you've got just about as much power as the Greens. You actually have <laughs> way more power. <laughs> You as a single ah. person has way more sway than the Greens. How does that feel? Yeah, yeah you know what? Eat shit, Adam Barnes. <laughs> uh, but you can't win Newtown though. Uh, you yeah, that's right. true. That's true. That, that is your what is known as a power vacuum. <laughs> Pet barn appearance is a little yeah, bit too. The colourfully referred to as the rat shit. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, but if all of those industries came back, not only are we reducing 1% of the world's carbon emissions, we're all of a sudden responsible for reducing 4% of the world's carbon emissions. Even more. Also the potential, I bet you, would be even more. Dude, because we're also exporting all of that energy to other countries. Like, I, I know this is, like, in the future, this is what Australia needs to be looking at. Setting up, a, like, an, an actual pipeline that reduces through the you know what? ocean there is someone into who's doing that. Um, East Asian markets, Southeast Asian. 
they do in a Just a bunch of people that, that live there. Yeah. Well, n- but like, this I, is the I'm whole talking thing. about like an actual like you pass electricity through. That's one. that's yeah. what. Uh, there, there is this. He has a big young thinkers. tech billionaire, and I can't remember his name, but pretty much he was just frustrated with the liberals just putting in roadblocks to everything. But he was trying to set that up in Australia that there would just be a pipeline grid, if you will, across all the eastern states. And he was willing to invest in it himself. He just wanted the approval for it, and they weren't giving it to him. So he just thought, fuck you guys. And so he just went up, and now he's just putting one up in like far north Queensland or whatever, and it's going to Indonesia, and then it's going to go really? to Malaysia from there. Mm. Must have a beer. Uh, and it's just insane. Things. Like, it's, it's, that's the embarrassing thing to me, I suppose, is that the, the, the fact that it's, it's got to be the most bizarre scenario I've ever seen, but the business community is so far ahead of the government in Australia. Dude, the when has that ever is happened? Just lagging behind on everything. Like we were talking about this. I, you know what? This is the worst bit. Even if like the Liberal Party wanted to, I bet the system is incapable of taking on such a big project. Mm. A massive pipeline through the funding that's going to be required, the stakeholders that you're gonna. Dude, some fucking vested interest is gonna come and just veto that shit. They'd be like, nah. We're more interested in oil. And then we'll be paralyzed because we, we're not China. We can't be like, well, fuck off. We're going to still build it. Mm. We're just like incapable of doing a lot of this stuff. That's true. Having said Sadly. that, if you had like a government that was in power, they'd still be able to do a lot more than one that is Labor. trying not to do right. things. Like, as, again, the last angry man, Scott Morrison literally versus the world. <laughs> and how mad is it as well that he's still winning? Even though everybody right. kind of has the suspicion that he's a massive cunt, they're going to vote for him anyway. Yeah. You've got to say to that, look, as, I've, as we've all said before, <laughs> I do honestly think that he is, talking to other journalists, the worst Prime Minister Australia's ever had. But yeah. having said that... You've got to pay it. Fuck yes, yeah, Gamer. You've got to pay the gusto. You've got to pay the gusto. You've got to pay the gusto. Everyone hates him, but he's still sitting there just being like, can't get rid of me, can you? <laughs> it's mad. He might, imagine if he's in for our whole lifetimes. And I honestly think that that's a possibility. Oh my I do God. think that he has the potential to be the next Menzies. John Howard times 10. How long was Damn. Menzies for? 23 years or some shit. Fuck. Was Menzies a... Uh, what was his relationship with Jack Lang? Do you have anything about... Do you know anything about that? No, I don't know anything that he knew about. I don't know... Menzies was a lib, him. right? Yeah. 20. He founded the libs. Fuck. I, dude, that's mad. I won't live in a town that doesn't live for its right to marry their cousins and reject bad science like wind and hydro. Unless it's <laughs> gas, you can gas it up. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that that was just a senile rant, wasn't it? Like that, that was like that, that was, was such a good impression of a. To be fair, that that's me. what Menzies that was, was all about. That, too. He was all about senile rants. Oh yeah, yeah. So Mish, it's more got, worrying than that was just me trying to. Do you know what Mish's talent is? is? One, uh, however old I am, thirty. Miss, you, top of your game. <laughs> Miss, you can like. You can understand a particular. This is the like even when he's writing scripts. Like if he's writing a script on like the next Top Gear, uh, whatever the video. Top Gear. Miss Love Top is gear. like fucking insane of exactly replicating that. Where to the point you go like shit. That is an episode of Top Gear. <laughs> like there's John's nothing. Good but like too. the thing is like what Miss Love does is like he doesn't care about jokes. He cares about authenticity. <laughs> because that's <laughs> funny. If I like. Not to everyone no, else. Yeah. Honestly, no, no, it's true though. Miss Love gets it. I. This nah, is a tip for any comedy writer out there, right? Well, this is something that we both intuitively understand. If yeah. you're parodying something, do an exact replica of it. Don't, I don't put know in if jokes. that's yeah. the best idea. Yeah. Actually, this is the best place to ask this question because we've got a ma- we've got an audience. Look, yeah. don't you think audience? Yeah, awesome. Don't you think it's terrible when you watch comedy that's just like absurdist and silly? I'm wearing a shoe. No, we just come up with like. Oh. Your thing was 90% authenticity, 10% gags. Less, less. I say 95% authenticity. 60% authenticity, 40% gags. That's so huge, dude. Come on. But that's like, like Arnie Donna lives. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we got a substance. Sorry, sorry. No, nah, fuck them. They're doing fine. We can pay the shit out of All them. All right, well, for no, a bit, bit get like. Get in the kiln. Don't get in the kiln. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so should we, should we do most impressive man? Yes, we should, yeah. but first of all, should we taste most impressive uh, homemade Pepsi? Well, I've already tried yeah. it. It's I've actually already, really good. I've already tried See, it. See, you thought it was good. Fucked. All right, have a have a. I already did. Go on, in you go. 
so bad. Dude, it tastes like is, Pepsi. The it only tastes shit exactly like job. Pepsi. It tastes like Pepsi with just one percent diesel. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like and the aftertaste it. that the diesel comes in with the aftertaste. Oh, you yeah. know what? That's that's uh, you know what? Okay, like like, pass me that. This is that's an, water. This is an embodiment of you know the UN's future endeavors, and this is Scomo's dream. <laughs> what? You know what I mean? No. <laughs> like. Clean energy. Oh, okay. Dirty, yeah, yeah. Just dirty. Just like straight coal. up. That's the. That's, like such that's a what it is. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> wait, wait. Put, put it on me. Put it on me. Huh? You see this? This is Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Sugar, sugar gives you order. Energy. Order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Speaker. Just making a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one day the greens will just come. Terrified back. of sugar. Don't be scared of this. All natural. It's we're eighty. We're made up eighty percent of it. Uh, I wonder if I wonder if water would be considered a prop. Yeah, what? there's something to think about. Yeah. If you use it as a prop, yeah. Oh, fair. Like if you just started s- super soaking, like <laughs> no, I didn't penny wrong. How good would <laughs> the most serious person in the Senate? <laughs> Oh, in the <laughs> like I don't think Penny Wong. I love it, but I don't think she's ever cracked a joke in her entire life. Yeah, probably no, not. No. How good would that be? Just with a little clown thing, but <laughs> as a retort, and she'd have can, nothing. And the Greens do it. It's like, <laughs> you know, we love flowers. Oh, yeah. dude, flower power. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, not Mary. Take that, not Nazis. Not Nazis. <laughs> Penny Wong. Die, Nazi, die. She fetched a steer. My, 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 <laughs> my face is burning a little bit. We put a bit of acid, sulfuric acid in there too, bitch. <laughs> Dude, the greatest question has been asked. Please <laughs> tell me, who played Pepsi Man? Who's Pepsi Who's, Man? Who you guys fuck? never played Pepsi Man? What's that? Dude, that was a game. Was it like an exclusively third world game? I think so. It was just that like... Sounds so it third sounds like Dude, because it's a, like... Corporate as fuck. Uh, uh, unless I'm buying Pepsi as a gag, I don't think about it. Yeah. Pepsi, oh. Pepsi is so third it was world. Like, yeah, it was it just is. a man that was like running away from a massive can of Pepsi. <laughs> and like he kept running and you had to dodge and he went, oh, Pepsi man. <laughs> yeah, the greatest, <laughs> the greatest so game of all time. How is that a game? Dude, Don Kang knows about it. He's the one who brought <sighs> it up. That doesn't sound like a game. That sounds like a PS One. Don Kang, do you like us or hate us? Like, I don't understand his contribution here. And yeah. are you actually Don Kang? Oh, I thought you <laughs> meant no. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the the real one. No, he no, no. Dom Kang was asking about Pepsi the, the dome. The real Dom Kang would definitely know about. Yeah, that. of course. Here he we used go. to just send me gifts of like Indian midgets, like with hula hoops and stuff. And uh, uh, that, that's the I thing. That, that I miss stuff. about that man. I do like Look that at that. Stuff. <laughs> Look at that. That's Pepsi Man. Drink it. <laughs> it's a Wikipedia page. Wait, wait, wait. Um, it's a game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a it's video a game. PlayStation, PlayStation game. 1 game. It was that's the greatest game. It better than GTA. <laughs> Dude, that was it actually Ali? Is the most was it good? Well, at the time I remember, I thought it was like the everyone, best. Everyone, everyone in the comments, just look up Pepsi Man Wikipedia. It literally looks like it the most dystopic, <laughs> fucked up, futuristic like Blade Runner. It's it's a game that would exist in Blade Runner. It's like, are you playing Don't you think, Pepsi yeah, it's Man? Just, yeah, I love Pepsi Man. It's it's. Yeah. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like if RoboCop <sighs> was a commercial for Pepsi. Yeah. Don't you think? Just what being like, fuck? in a world gone mad, where crime rules the streets, <laughs> only one man oh. steps up and is refreshed enough to fight crime. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, you know what I'm That's really sad about? Incredible. How sad are you that the phrase refreshed is out of vogue in advertising Pepsi? Yeah, it is. Is lame. it? Well, because, like, dude, Pepsi does not make you fresh. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, but yeah, like no soft but, drink. But that does. was just such <laughs> a great true. advertising word. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Where's it gone? What are they saying? I now? thought that was like a sprite advertising thing. Yeah. Look, I don't I don't care what the soft drink is. I just care that it's not used anymore because yeah. it just sounds so commercial, don't you think? Yeah, it's just like only Sprite has the refreshing taste of Sprite. 
Get refreshed. Get refreshed with Sprite. Yeah, I know. What's this made of again? It's basically street sugar. Refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, it would work if you were starving. That would refresh you for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that the, would refresh you. Yes, it would. Yeah. If you have diabetes, yeah. that would refresh you. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's true. Low diabetes. If you were, if you were crashing. That and like if you were that guy in 128 hours where he was like, Wedged between two boulders and had to chop off his own arm. In that situation, it'd be refreshing. That's the only thing that was missing from that movie was product placement of Sprite. I think, but like, yeah. oh, I'm freaking. Out. Oh wait, oh, I forgot about that. There is product placement of Gatorade. No. Yeah, when he's like, when he's like, oh, okay. Well, it was the perfect film. Yeah, it was good. I liked and what it was it? Mountain Blast. Because uh, that's what I would uh, really want if I'm dying in the desert. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. True. Um, I can't remember. But. Can we? Should we? What do the fuck is Mountain Blast? Sorry, Ma- what Ma- is that like flavor? Mountain Dew. Oh, flavor. it's like it's it's it nuclear. It is a flavor. It's nuclear flavor. No, it's a flavor. But what do you mean nuclear? Like flavor? nuclear waste flavor. It 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 does. That's what I think when I taste it. I'm just like, <laughs> this is delicious. But it like uh, this can't be. I'll give you. You the shouldn't answer. consume <laughs> no, this. No, I'll give you the answer. You, if you it's really filled want it. with like cancer. Here's here's the answer to exclusively all of these drinks. Food coloring and fructose, high fructose. <laughs> Is that like corn syrup? <laughs> Damn! Finally, after all these years, Miss Love Red Pills Jordan. <laughs> Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> Clip that. A U W U. No panthera at this time. <laughs> I wish your reaction was this though. Whoa! It was internally too. <laughs> I, I, I was freaking out. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Me because too. you're you're still Jordan's mind is very sort of like post-war uh, homemaker wife he's just very like i can't believe i can have macaroni cheese in 20 minutes and yes just like <laughs> wow yes, yes. Like yeah, Jordan, look at him. how it, impressed he is by the fact that I he know. made this pepsi yeah. Yeah. he's like yeah, he yeah. thinks he's like a genius advertising where's my white coat the closest thing i've ever done to like a successful jamie oliver meal <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey, no you make like you made one good jamie oliver dish no no no. he makes one well, that doll like i thought you thought no, it was shit uh, the doll was horrible laksa uh. the laksa was decent you made laksa decent Oh, dude, dude I'm going to say Jamie Oliver is not a good cook. Yes, nah, he is. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He is for the layman. Yes, nah, he he's is. not. He is, though. Oh, fuck you. I'm you not know, saying, like, you know who's not a good cook? Gordon fucking Ramsay. Not true. He is a oh, genuinely oh, good cook. God. Have you but seen But you know why? Are you serious, Miss? You, you I serious? thought you knew food. Jamie Oliver is not a good cook, I've dude. I've made a lot of Jamie's meals, and they've been very yummy. No. Gordon Ramsay knows how to cook. Very Cheeky. Yeah, that's what I meant. Cheeky as. <laughs> Dude, Gordon Ramsay. Cheeky beef cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like it's the same thing as pink. Jamie Oliver is too big in Australia. Dude, listen to this. Yes. Does not deserve <laughs> okay, to be. Okay, that's fair. I'll pay that. Okay, Dude, I, I can that report is that. up there with Red Rooster. Uh, sorry, Linkin Park is, is the, the Red, Red Rooster, Rooster of music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, look, it's, it's, Dude, it's, it's so true. Point. Jamie Oliver is the pink of food. Yeah, but he is. And because Gordon Ramsay is famous everywhere else, Jamie Oliver isn't. Okay, but Gordon... But R- I think Gordon Ramsay is actually a better cook. He's, re- he's a nah. professional... Nah. Dude, I, I don't think he's a better cook. I think he's a better cleaner. Yeah, he's a cleaner. No, he doesn't that, clean. He's just a janitor. Actually, like, yeah, he just he goes is. in everywhere and he's like, what's this then, eh? Fuck you. And that's his show. And, like, I love that. Dude, that's ignore, an amazing show. Ignore, it's ignore, fucking right. dirty. <laughs> that, every time, just staring at your face, being like, listen, <laughs> listen. This pan isn't fucking clean. <laughs> Three months off. Three months out of the day. Fucking disgusting. I'm going to throw up. Fuck. Oh. Like, why does he throw up so much? He's like Steve-o, said, dude. Okay, I'm not if on he's that the pink, train. if he's the pink, dude, Gordon <laughs> Ramsay is the Steve-o of the <laughs> <laughs> I like I said, I'm not on that train. I don't agree with their swearing, but the food is all right. Listen to this. Can I, just I don't know. This? I don't know. I've never actually had it before. It's just every time he's always like, right. So you're trying to make cuisine, yeah? All right, chuck that out. What you're gonna make is burgers. <laughs> and so I just assume that he is just some British chef that just like he before that was just some guy that owned a fish and chip shop being like, you want half chips or a full chips? <laughs> All right, full it is. Yeah, he's, he's right. I'm sorry, Ali. Yeah, All of that stuff's right. true, but like Burgess. that's his personality. Burgess. His personality you is annoying, cocky. You have to put a bit of cocky. butter in the pan and jam jalapenos in it too. That's how the Mexicans do it, yeah? <laughs> it's chat. <laughs> 
<laughs> At least better than Jamie Oliver who's like, hey, no. you've got this pasta, now add uh, pink ketchup into it to make he it better. Not. Look, Jamie, but also, uh, while he does that, don't you think that this is much nicer than being like, oh, this, this is fucked. This is this fucking burning. Like, instead of that, how much nicer is it being like, just put in a nice little tasty morsel of pink there. I love pink. Pink just reminds me of Italy, yeah? Just put that's, in that. That's and then, it. That's, wait, 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 wait. That's wait, why and then, he's famous. No, that's he's good. famous for this. Puts his finger in this one yeah. and just goes, <laughs> boom. His onomatopoeias. His onomatopoeias are on All point. Right, just like, pow. The, look, all these observations are great. That's exactly those guys' personality. Having said that, I think that's why Jamie Oliver gets like, dude, I think like Australians just, there's that MILF that we like because she's Nigella. hot. Yeah, Nigella. No, she's, she's not doesn't. a bad cook. She's not bad. I, I'm sure she, she is. Does she make anything except desserts? Every no, time no. I look at her, she's like, I'm dipping strawberries in chocolate. Were you doing that three years ago? Can't remember. Yeah. Dude, like, yeah, I, yeah, and weirdly, like, mm, never concentrated on the cooking. Them. With her. No. But, but I'm sure also, she's a great how is cool. this possible? How is she hotter after going through menopause? Right. What the hell is that all English about? She's still got it. It's, it's the whole like, it's like English, uh, like handmaiden. They just get harder. But dude, that's like a shtick now. Like she kind of is teasing a little bit. Dude, that was always like, a shtick. What are you talking it? about? I, yeah, thought, I thought like she was just no. hot and everyone was like, uh, oh yeah, sorry. You were talking about like food. That's her. But like no, she, but she, she was like, always. She's like, are oh, you just snuggle with these brownies in your bed, and you've got a little book, and you sit in there. Like no cook is given like their shot on in their bed. Dude, how it's only Nigella that does shit nice like that. does her life seem? Oh, awesome! Mm-hmm. I'd have nice a sex change for that. Her, like, I would really like. Husband's life scene. Come on. Coke she also head. seems like a nice person. Good food. I think like. I think it just seems, dude. The, the, the lifestyle that she puts up of just being like, I love desserts. I really, really love desserts. Have you ever had a Macron? <laughs> <laughs> just eating that and being like, it's so... You're so right. So nice next to a book. Honey, it's That's showing. her whole life is just reading English literature with Macrons. Yeah. I feel like she has much... Her She's concentration is on the Macrons and less on the literature, but... Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I think so as well, but... I don't doubt that she's at least read some of those books. I'm sure she has. It's not like that Jonathan Livingston Seagull prop in The Brady Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if her cooking is good. I've seen several of her videos, but never concentrated on that. But th- the same, man, like, I'm just telling you, Jamie Oliver is just a nicer person. He has a more comforting way of showing people how to cook. Well, you know why he was originally but taken he, on? Why? It was, they were actually filming. <laughs> this is fucked. It's so unfair. Mm-hmm. They were filming some other guy that was paying for like a pilot for TV or whatever. And he was known as one of the best cooks in Britain. So, you know, pretty much the worst person in Australia would have been shut down. But anyway, he he (laughs) was there and he was um, getting filmed. And the director was coming in being like, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a photo of the jalapenos. And then he just (laughs) looked up and was like, hang on a second. Who is that? <laughs> and then it was just some awkward 19-year-old but. cutting spuds being like, your spuds are ready, me lord, and, and gave them over to him. And he was just like, you, get out of the way. You're not handsome like Jamie. Uh. Now, Jamie, I want you to repeat after me. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> He's got it. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's fucking funny. That oh, needs yeah. to be a video. That's the how origins of Jamie but Oliver. That, that yes. is the origins of Jamie Oliver. That's fucking funny too. He, he, was, he was. He was very handsome. I love. And Jamie. now he's just he like is. Nigella Lawson and fat. Yeah. All of that is true, man. Uh, hey, hey, don't call Nigella fat because some of us love that. Comely. Uh, so do I. More yeah, cushion I, for the pushing. I think. I think that is the accurate word for it. A comely lass. Mm. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> very. Uh, uh, can we just do a poll? Is it, let's do a poll right now in the comments. What is the best Simpson quote of all time? Because I really do think that it's up there. Is the what? Okay. You, 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 let's do that poll. But while we're waiting on that poll, I want to show you a clip that I know everyone has seen, uh, but I saw it for the first time, and I think it's the greatest one. And then, like, and then we wait for those uh, poll quotes. Well, just. Rattle some off the top of your head, but I really think that this is one of them. Is Mia Quimby and Chief Wiggum looking at like the town charter, and uh, mm. in the background, like the monorail is just spinning out because yeah, they're just been trying to figure out who this jurisdiction it is when the monorail spins out. So they're looking at this like two hundred year old document, <laughs> and he's just there with a magnified glass, and he just goes like, "Hey." According to the charter, I'm supposed to get a pig. Uh, as, hey, according to the charter, as chief constable, I'm supposed to get a pig every month. 
and two comely lasses of virtue true. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be the funniest uh, phrase I've ever heard in my life. Two comely lasses of virtue true. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's that's. But I think <laughs> John, I swear that must like it was a nine month writing process. They must have just spent <laughs> a month on that sentence. Yeah, that's it's not perfect. all good too. But I think the greatest Simpsons. I had never seen this before. This is gold. You guys need to see this, and the audience too. Like all of you have seen it except for me. <laughs> Damn auto tune. Where? This is just That's real music. Yeah. It's a fucking good song. Dude, this is that. Like, it's a better version of that Azerbaijan song. Yeah! yeah. So much better. And those are Armenians. Oh, damn. And those are Australian bombs hitting them. Fun oh. fact. Dude, this is not funny. This is just a sick song. Like, I, I, I yeah. think this is mad. Me. And yeah. would tap over Nigel Lawson. Jesus. Oh, yeah. You know what's really funny? You know that picture of that. What does it mean? It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. anything. It's like Grandma like Lamb Ding Dong or Give Peace a Chance. Peace a chance. <laughs> Dude. I love this song. Yeah, I like this song. It's a good episode. And I'm going to give you a fun fact about this song. This is directed by Ang Lee. The episode. Well, I think the song is because like it says it at the, at the beginning. That can't be true. I think it's true. There's something weird about this video. None of those girls has had kids. I tell you that. No, something else. Wait, how did you? Fuck, dude. Fuck, I think we're gonna get in trouble for this. Why? Oh really? Like oh, because it's Simpsons. Uh, Shit, I forgot. Wait, wait, take it off, take it off. <laughs> like, fact, we actually should take this off. Cancel. Like the best part was actually towards the end, because Miss Love makes an appearance. What? Nah, well, in for a penny. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just gonna. Okay, what are you this. talking about? Know, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just got an urge to join the navy. navy. You're being brainwashed. Brain brain yeah, 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 probably. Ivan <laughs> And that would be how Miss Love would join the army. Yeah, yeah, accurate. In fact, that probably happened in that mysterious four-year period of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Are we going to... Yeah, I shouldn't have played that. Ah, should I, like, copyright. But, like, whatever. We won't works. get, like... Well, I mean, we're still on, I think. <laughs> oh, they, they're not just going to, like, throw us out. Copyright they just demonetize a, it, right? Or well, something? just get that out of the YouTube video. Yeah, copyright's a myth. You anyway. just made yourself a lot more work, Ali. <laughs> I sure did. Mm. <laughs> but I will not <laughs> because I think it's deserved getting cancelled for. Now, because oh, I wanted let's to just cleanse our sins. Oh, yeah. With some nice... But, like, what, that's the second last one because we do that and then the last one is Miss Love gives his opinion on the number one song on Hottest 100. We yeah. can't play it for copyright <laughs> reasons again. Oh, yeah. But riveting segment. Let's do. Let's do this. Well, of course, as everybody uh, knows, the most famous Australian of all time. Uh, move over, Nicole Kidman. Move over, whoever the fuck that guy was from Wolverine. Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, yes, Russell Crowe, of course. How could we was. forget? Fuck, what's his name? He was supposed to be Wolverine. What? Forget his name. What's his name? Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. That's Jackman. the guy. Oh, you genuinely forgot his name. I genuinely <laughs> forgot his name. All <laughs> dancing. Huh? All singing. All dancing. Even more famous than Daryl Summers is <laughs> <laughs> James Curley. And for anybody who is new to this podcast, we have what is known as the second edition of the Bible. This is the New yeah, this Testament. Is, no, this, this is, is the New, new Testament. Yeah. Koshy's yeah, investment savings, of course. 101 is ways to survive 2009. That is the Old Testament. But and today we came up with the fact with that more advice. this is now Quran. Yeah, that's the Quran. Communism Thin is true. and weak. <laughs> 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 I, went, I know how proud you are of that <laughs> Well, 
I've lost Vagina Island. That's probably for oh, the best. That's, pretty, Th- that's no, not for the best. Hear. It's quite racy. I don't know if the little Twitch will allow that. Like we've already striked ourselves. I don't know if we want to double strike it. But any any arbitrary page in this everything that gold. he writes is just fucked. <laughs> it's just it's that cunt at a party that hits on your girlfriend the way he <laughs> speaks. It's always that. These kind of things like, what's crack a lacking? Right. Oh, yeah, those are some nice face fungus. You know, like the, the, a word hey, for don't beard, do that, face miss. fungus. Oh, why? We're live. The, whole, yeah, the yeah, noise don't, is getting yeah, the noise is, Yeah, don't play around with it because you're bored well, waiting for me to find this picture of a vagina. Well, it's in a picture. I thought you were going to give us like a session of the New Testament. Okay, well, we'll just move on to... You just pick any ultimatum. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Here's the picture. Oh my god. Of course that's Classy. James Curley's top. We did not Classy. censor that, just so you know. <laughs> no need. No need. He's, uh, he's gone there. Jesus. Torn. I'm not going to uh, get all anti-porn on you. It's everywhere. It's like fast food of sex. We know it's not great for us. And let's be honest, you can't become a crusty demon by watching motorbike videos. You've got to practice. Uh, I told you. I told you. He's just the king of those cuts at parties. Dude, he is their king. Dude, so no offense, bad. but the guy that we're both thinking about right now, I bet you this is the only book he's ever read. <laughs> <laughs> a musician, mate, uh, had a crack at working in the porn industry. No, not as the male lead. He was writing music. Yeah, th- that, that was implied, James. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but got roped into the operating the third camera. Uh-huh. Filled me in on the behind-the-scenes stuff that makes you think porn stars are total stats. Hey, he's giving out dick tricks. This isn't bad. Yeah, this is all I right. This is the new I'm actually interested. I, f- I knew that Miss Love would be like, yeah, that, you're saying that porn does not make you better at sex? No, he's Who saying it is. Who needs to know this information? Is saying there anyone is that needs to know this information? Me. He does. He wants to be a porn star. And what? he's already <laughs> there. He is a porn star. He makes money off of porn. How are oh. you talking about? Miss Love Bella Bradgic, professional <laughs> Guido slash porn star slash Jesus. aspiring musician. Yeah. Fake news coming from the no, east side of the No, you've got an OnlyFans. You have an OnlyFans. You're a porn star. You need not... to know this. This is actual information for your career. <laughs> well, uh, look, I need to, I need to yeah, advance the next stage. You. This is not work. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm Pay waiting. Attention, if, you, if you did, knuckleheads would get it shut. You have traps and read. Dick tricks. Number one, the last scene's usually shot first. Well, that is interesting to know. Wait, what? Shit. No. So you come before? That's impossible. That's weird, isn't That's it? Not po- is it even possible? Maybe you just wait a couple of hours and then you get in on That's it. That's probably... But, like, why are you... Oh, so you can last longer. Yeah. Genius. Yeah, that's it. That genius. is genius. That's not... That's not that's not very yeah, fun. Yeah, because you can come out, you can come straight away. You get, and you also get a massive look. Well, I understand first. that like classic '90s fade to the face with the music being like ding 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 ding, ding and then they cut, and then it's just always that fade, and then it's just like. <gasps> <laughs> the they they stopped doing that. Jesus. Bring that, that back as well. That's something that else that needs to come back from the nineties. The word refreshing and that shot of men coming, like there's just that sh- one shot of their face being like. Ah. I'm pretty sure that still happens, dude. Like, does it? I don't think it does dude, anymore. Money shot is still know. in every porn film. I think you've just stopped watching it. <laughs> no, the money shots in every porn film, but yeah. now it's always just some Russian guy going, yes, 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 ha, oh, oh. ha. <laughs> that's, that's different, man. I'm not used to it. <laughs> yeah, like I think all the guys. I need guys that face. Need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, they're like, ah, and the laugh, yeah, the laugh. You know, they laugh. The someone's, ha, like, ha, 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 someone's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the laugh. Hey, this isn't the up late. Just, just know that. Yeah, I know. I'm like, uh, well, hell? if you do like this, though, you should sign up to our up late because <laughs> this is our up late. Except that it's our books instead of James Curley's. Yeah, that's it. And you get to learn all of our tricks. Of the tra- <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, yeah. that's not even untrue. <laughs> yeah, no. Tune in yeah. to hear our tips of Brazzer films that we kind of remember but don't remember any of the stars' names. And we spend the entire hour trying to figure it out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's sadly what people pay money for. <laughs> uh, you work spent? <laughs> two, it's all in the editing sequence of Looped. All right, yeah, well, that makes sense. There's uh, lots of cameras on set, so the sex can be shot from every angle, spliced together, out of sequence to make it a mammoth session. Most porn scenes are not uh, are not shot continuously. Yeah, this is all this is all Look, fine. I'm learning. That's you, what you, I'm saying. It's like it's you're for, learning. It's yeah. for idiots. I was going to say the R word. Yeah, I really, if I was going to film a porn, I would do that. Yeah. I would just get 
as many cameras as I had to shoot that bullet dodging scene in the Matrix, just surrounding <laughs> them, and then I just press record and I'd leave, and I'd just be like, "You guys just get on with it," because uh, the last thing I that you would so. want while you're getting it on is one of those guys with a mullet just sitting in there being like, "Did you get that?" I don't know, man. I just want lunch. Man, sometimes so they get come on their faces. Those cameramans, like, yeah, I've seen that. That was amazing. Uh, essential awesome. workers, like, <laughs> they're just front line. Front line. <laughs> they need to get vaccinated too. Dude, so like, uh, did you know that porn actors usually favour from having a big dick? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, th- there are uh, makeup artists on set to make everyone's genitals look better. Oh my yeah. god, that's gross. That's probably good. That's, that's good not thing. gross. Nah, that's, that's great. Good that's a really that's good thing. I, I appreciate yeah. that effort, actually. Yeah. Someone often has to be in charge of pubic hair design. <laughs> no yeah. way. I didn't know that there were so many jobs in the industry. No, I, this must have been. This was from years ago. Was James Curley also a porn star? How does he know everything about this? <laughs> no, his friend. His friend was. Uh, well, his friend was in it. Friend in like air quotes. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think that. Uh, eight, eight, yeah, sex positions in porn are chosen mainly because they allow cameras to reach all the hidden parts. Some are uncomfortable for one or both people involved. I knew that. I knew that sex in porn is actually really uncomfortable. Is it? Dude, have you ever noticed that where they're just like having sex from like it's this <laughs> angle, like a 45 degree angle? Right. Oh, I'm yeah, sure that that's for maximum pleasure. That, oh, that right. looks great, doesn't right, it? Right. You need like just getting crammed in from the side. Miss, you don't even know for those positions. <laughs> For like those kind of positions, I'm so you, naive. I'm, yeah, yeah, you're so. exercising muscles that you've never exercised before. You got to be fit, I suppose. Well, and also like I think the main thing is also like you have to fuck for four hours. That's that's the, fucked. That's the Damn, they inject. I didn't even know this. Oh yeah. no, you. A sorry, sorry, sorry. I, 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 I misread that. Is, yeah. uh, they they use a drug to that makes their penis go numb because oh. they're fucking for so long. Oh, that's horrible. This, hey, this is interesting. This sucks, dude. So th- these are the things that I always thought would be terrible about a male porn star. You'd be having sex with five I'm women a week, probably, trouble. something like that. Yeah, but yeah. I would imagine if that you're full-time you wouldn't working. want to have sex with three of them. Yeah. Dude, uh, men your would. dick hurts, like, all the time? Ah, no good. No bueno there. There's, like, constantly strangers watching you fuck, just being like, come on, I want to go home. What about Rucker? He likes it so much. But that's his fan house. <laughs> and there's nothing strange at all about the fact that his cameraman is his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> his fun house. Rocco doesn't Rucker's comply to the rules. Phone house. He, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't comply to the rules. Rocco doesn't do any of that shit. Any of these things, just like, no, not these, not these. No. They just come to my villa in Italy. We eat some nice pasta and then Fuchs. You reckon he's yeah. got it right? And Danes, but by Fuchs, it's always 20 mains. Yeah. That's and all I need. Three Ukrainian humans. Yeah, that's all I need. In 20 minutes, they're already crying. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so scary and hilarious that it's called this House of Fan. <laughs> anyway, that's an actual... No, 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 sorry. Rekko's Fan House. Well, oh. you've always seen the beginning of his videos, right? <laughs> this is the... Sorry, we're, we're rehashing old territory here because it's just so important to so the history important. of this podcast is covering Rocco's of Freddy's One lustrous One year career. was just Rocco. <laughs> yeah, it was. Every yeah, podcast really was. was And I Rocco. think that everyone that's watching this can agree that that was the golden year. It, and it well, was because of him. It was a year. It was a fun year. <laughs> Just put it on me for a second. What? Oh. Every one of his videos would always start with this. Hey, yo. Dink, dink. And then he'd put his head in six saggy tits. <laughs> they were so saggy for some reason. And he looked very serious, being like, come on, come to have fun. And there's and just then it this back shot of an inconspicuous looking man. You never see his face watching on TV, just going... Like a guy that looks like he's a janitor <laughs> that's just come home from work, he would not be watching rock. Like it's Yay. so weird. It's like an it's like something out of Twin Peaks. That intro. You saw his. Uh I showed you that video. There, there, there was his like uh, Rocco started a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. So Had scary. Everything that man does is scary, but pretty much all he does is he just gets off his truck and in the back is a dirt bike and he's just like ah. Ah, just putting water on his head and then he goes, come, come, let me show you. You see this? And then the back wheel is fucked and he just goes, this was because me and my sons was racing. This is Rocco's tip for today. Don't race, just have fans. <laughs> and then he does this for three seconds. And it finishes. 
and it finishes. Uh, it's the it's content such a I need. Scary That's man. the content I need. Dude, he's scarier than James Carley. Big yes. call, but he uh, is. Wait, sorry, sorry. We'll, we'll finish Go on this. I'm genuinely interested in this. I'm like, ah, yeah, there's learning things I never thought I'd hear. Sticking hot sauce up the ass helps some porn actors staying the. What? Well, it would definitely help you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I have to keep reading. I need to hear this. It helps them sustain an erection. What? Like, up their ass? Yeah, maybe that's why I'm so fond of it, eh? There's a lot of enema action when it comes to anal sex. Such, There's so many, like, really... Did you know that pornography is two people having it's sex on camera? But, like, no, 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 he's, he's bringing some new knowledge here. I did not know about hot sauce. What the fuck is that? I didn't that? know about hot sauce. That's bizarre. That's, like, not okay. I think he's just making it up you now. You best know I'm trying A that. big dick doesn't guarantee a sexy voice. Voices are dubbed in later. No. No way. That's only European ones where it's like clearly, it's like, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Why are they always dubbed in German? I don't know. Ischlan? Ischlan? Yeah, Ischlan. it's so weird. <laughs> Porn stars love it when someone in the crew has a hard on, which my what? mate did for the first hour of the shoot. After what? 15 hours of filming, he didn't have sex for a month. What? What? What does that mean? Oh, they probably. Oh, he fucked so much that he couldn't have sex for a month. He probably screwed them. I've heard that where it's just like they get bored and they're like, we're going to mess with the cameraman. <laughs> really? Oh, wait, yeah. do they? Yeah. Oh, so that's like not a porn thing. I thought that was like an exclusively. That's, that's, that's a whole different porn category. So it's way like better to just be cameraman. the cameraman because you don't have to lose your dignity. You probably get paid more and the sex would be enjoyable. And also, yeah, yeah. if you are yeah. bad at the. if you bad, It's just it's funny. If you're a shit. If you're bad at sex, if you're a porn star, you are bad at your job. Yeah, a cameraman, dude. Cameramans have it, but I think that's not true, dude. I don't. I think that's like an entire different porn category of like, ooh, like as if like after getting fucked for seventeen hours, the first thing that comes into a porn star's head is like, I maybe I can fuck the cameraman too. Nah, that's a whole. That's 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 a different porn video. That's also meant for content. Oh, maybe. Look, put it this way. The cameraman job is my job at Friendly Geordies, and the porn star job is your job. And I'm the. You're you're not wrong. (laughs) We were having this discussion the other day. How much better is Miss Love's life than mine? <laughs> Do you think in that? In every regard. Not in every regard. I yes. mean, yeah, in a way. Like, similarly, when you go to the zoo and you're like, dude, that, that like, that cheetah's life is pretty sick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <you> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's true. It's like, you'd rather be the cheetah than the zookeeper. Yeah, definitely. Because the right. zookeeper, the cheetah's just like, <laughs> the cheetah just has to learn that, okay, I'm just going to be a lazy slob now. But once it starts getting food, it will very quickly adjust, I'm guessing. <laughs> there is the small disadvantage, though, of just sort of like friendly Jimmy, loved by all, remembered by millions. And it'd be like, some Croatian guy, loved by his mom. And <laughs> that song ne- <laughs> uh, nearly by got millions. to 50,000 plays. Nearly got there, but. Dude, That'll be it, like the Spotify stat. Get the fuck out of here. I've in. seen your Instagram. You're like a, you're a celebrity. <laughs> with the roaring, uh, with, with the uh, with the fucking exceptional number of 2,000 people. Dude, way more than me. Even like after being a slut and be like, please add me on Instagram. Still significantly <laughs> lower yeah, than that. Yeah, but dude, friendly Jimmy's got a lot more zeros on that number. Well, true. Friendly Jimmy's is Don't a celebrity. Don't be jealous of me, darling. Ah, oh, you've got the field dog's shirt. No, it's, <laughs> dude, it's like, it's constant work. You're right. It's just like constantly just being in front of the camera. Yeah, that's true. The camera- your, your life is coming in here and just being like, yo, you know what happened? I saw a rat this big. It's this big. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm just like, yeah, okay, go to work. And it's like, you got it, Miss Des. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. I, I got to show you something. You ever heard of MC Hammer? <laughs> it's that for like three hours. And he does a little bit of work and then he's just like, yo, I'm hungry. You want pasta? And I'm just like, I guess. He's like, yeah, you want pasta? <laughs> and then he just goes, gets lunch. And then he's just like, this pasta is making me kind of sleepy. I'm going to work out. i see you later. Yo. You know what? Dude, his, his life is like, and then he just goes back and then he's just like, and I've got like a bunch of Tinder squeezes. Yeah. And then just leaves. <laughs> Look, there's a lot Dude, more. Dude, your life is fucking sick. His life is sick. It's lot. just Johnny drama. <laughs> it's so much better than being Vince. He's like, he's Johnny drama and Turtle combined into one. Yeah, uh, dude, he okay. is. Inject a lot more like empath shit of there of me being like a- Christo's Ari. I don't know the, I don't e. know the show. Uh, yeah. I don't know the show. I don't know huh? the show. I don't I don't know the characters well enough, but like 
you should get acquainted with it because you'll really like it. <laughs> I feel you'll like love I will that like show. it. You yeah, you'll probably Johnny just look Trump. there and you'll just be like, they just fill my life. Oh, uh, dude, we, I bet you we're like way over time. Um, now nah, we've got like one more minute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the show. We stick around for some. Dude oh, from well, guys, 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 we got we got to go into this. Can you please send to Ali's email? What is it? No, Instagram and add me on it. But what, what are you sending? What, do you, what, what, what are you sending? Send to his Instagram links of videos that we can react to because oh, yes. yeah. we need that content to build the channel. <laughs> so it's it's been not, not enough that you are paying for the existence of these two. You still have to pull your weight. <laughs> All right. uh, look, if you, if you, if like for the audience, if you guys want to be cunts and like actually have an email, then you can all send it to podcastfriendlyjordies.com. But the only condition is you also have to like me on Instagram. Let's get <laughs> to 2000. Why do you want to get your, let's right, get to, if you're I live in the Western suburbs. I think it's social status. If, the, if this guy is getting his up, then a Forest Hall Instagram. Nah, before, I got to <laughs> get sure, to. Make no, sure, no. hang on, hang on. Just, just, if you're going to like Ali, like Miss Love to be fair, but vice versa. Yeah. What is yes. all these people that have liked Miss Love and they haven't liked Ali? That's right. Don't oh, go- this is, dude, this is because for years you were actively discouraging any men. <laughs> so, of course, he's his double the size. But can I put it out there? Don't don't like my personal one. I don't even go on it. Go on like I'm sick of these people going on my personal one and being like an undescript random person that is just a bot that is like sends me subpar means being like, have you seen this one? I'm 31. Do, do Go on my band. My band page one's dropping too. It's like, hmm, you think you cannot uh, like post photos of your guitars every day? Well, you've got another thing coming. Like actively dropping. My band one's just dropping down. No, people it's do fucked. that. Dude. Like, that it's, it's a thing on Instagram. People like get off of Instagram and shit. No, I've lost like heaps. On it. It's so weird. I don't know. But I, get it. Um, I think I've, I'm actually, I think I'm... Very soon I'll be good, and I wouldn't need any more Instagram followers. Start a, start, well, you, have you had a whole slowly live one? I've got that one. Prop too. that. Oh, yeah, prop that one. <laughs> Should probably start making more videos on that <laughs> before I prop it. But there was a reason that I wanted a particular number of Instagram followers. Jinx. I need one thousand three hundred and twenty Instagram followers, and I'm at one thousand two hundred and fifty. Why do you need them? If you become a patron and you do the up late one, I will tell you because it's a little embarrassing. Okay. It's got some of like my high school trauma involved in it. Rare. And also for those of you that just joined us for the podcast, if you want to know why there's like a bunch of <laughs> rat poison on our table, Quality again, products. become a patron <laughs> patron, and check out the pre-show. Martine. You guys want to add something before we fuck off? Oh, just put it on me. We'll finish on this. Just remember, Jack Lang says, communism is treason. That is all for this broadcast.